Welcome to this demonstration of the NetSuite Analytics Warehouse. When I log into the warehouse, we can see that our NetSuite data has already been populated. Pre-built data pipes automatically transfer the NetSuite data into the warehouse and transform it into multidimensional objects for analysis. Let's open cash sales, for example. To do so, I would typically click here, but I've already opened this in another tab. As you can see, I have some analysis created, but on the left-hand side is the semantic model we've built that uses business language, not database language, to make it easier for us to find the data we need. Custom NetSuite fields can also be added to the warehouse, and the pipeline calculates certain common measurements for us automatically. I can navigate to my dashboards here, which help me get started analyzing NetSuite data faster. These dashboards can be easily customized and new dashboards can be built without writing any code. If I wanna focus on something like overdue invoices, I'll expand that analysis and collaborate with colleagues or even drill down further to take a deeper dive. With only a couple quick keystrokes, we can add formatting to focus our attention on specific data. For example, we can add a rule highlighting invoices over $1,000 in red. As you can see, the visualization is now focusing our attention on those records. Back on our datasets page, we can create connections to other data sources. There are over 25 pre-built connectors to other platforms such as Google Analytics and Salesforce, which allow us to more easily analyze all of our data. For instance, we'll bring in Google Analytics data to mash up our page views with revenue to see if there is any correlation. Here we can see NetSuite actuals in the same data set as my website analytics. I'll right-click on Explain Page Views and let machine learning give us a starting point to our analysis. It can be run on all the data points in the data set as they relate to page views. Let's use this one based on item as a starting point. Now we'll drag our revenue from NetSuite to see how that compares with page views. A palette of over 40 visualizations is available to help explore and understand the data in new ways. A scatter chart, for example, is a great way to identify anomalies. We can also add other machine learning features like a trend line illustrating the relation of the data based on a certain confidence or a reference line to compare against our average. Or perhaps there is just too much data and we need help identifying those outliers. Here we can see that there's an issue with the revenue these items are generating as it relates to page views. So that's something we will want to investigate. Finally, let's look at a real life sample of a project designed to analyze sales and profitability. By navigating to our projects, we can see all of our previously saved reports. In this example, we can focus our attention on the individual segment performance, or we can traverse these canvases and break down profitability in sales by category, customer type, or region. The system can even translate raw data too complex to describe into natural language as shown here. Thank you for watching this demonstration. If you have any questions, please reach out to your account manager. Hey, did you like what you learned? Make sure you check out another video. Click this link and don't forget to subscribe now.